a show. Our friend part. Miss Rachel is our host. Hi, hello, and welcome back. I'm so happy to see you again. Today, we are going to be learning about dinosaurs. We're gonna make two dinosaur art projects and my buddy Ray is gonna play a game with you. She's also gonna teach you some really fun dinosaur facts. Come on, let's get started. Hi, you guys. Okay, let's learn some facts about dinosaurs. There are about 700 different types of dinosaurs. Oh my gosh. Dinosaurs that eat meat are called carnivores. And the dinosaurs that eat plants are called herbivores. Some dinosaurs lived up to 300 years old. The biggest dinosaur was 150 feet long. Man. All right. Next up, I'm gonna teach you how to draw your own dinosaur. We're gonna do a simple step-by-step -step drawing of a stegosaurus. How cool is that? Come on, let's go. Okay, so the materials you're gonna need to have are pretty basic. A piece of paper, a pencil. I'm using some Sharpies, but you can use some markers or crayons. And I'm also gonna use some watercolors to fill it in, but you can use whatever you want. If you want to use watercolors to color your dinosaur, if you want to use crayons, if you want to use markers, if you want to use color pencils, you get to choose whatever art material you want. Basically, you're just going to need a piece of paper and a pencil. And then the other materials that you want to decorate with, I'm going to leave up to you to decide. Okay, let's get started. All right, so our step-by-step -step drawing of a stegosaurus. I have my pencil and my piece of paper. I have my watercolors over here. You can, again, if you want to use a marker or crayons, I have this Sharpie black marker I'm gonna be going, um, tracing around the outlines of my pencil with, my paintbrush over here for my watercolor. And if I want to, I have a green marker right here to color. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make an arch shape. Okay, so I'm going to start at the bottom and make an arch shape, just like we did with our rainbow. I'm going to make an arch shape right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the head. The head going to be in the front. I'll erase extra lines out afterwards, just kind of doing basic ideas right now to get an idea. The tail over here. And then I'm gonna add almost like some triangle, kind of triangle shapes at the top. Those stegosaurs have those triangle shapes going all the way around. Kind of getting smaller on the tail. Over here, I might make the head a little bit bigger. Again, I'll erase out anything afterwards. Make some little legs over here. Some little legs over here. There's kind of my basic outline of my stegosaurus. Now I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna erase out all of the little extra pencil markings that I don't need. Great, so now I kind of have the basic shape. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna trace around my pencil with a marker just to make it stand out a little bit more. You can choose to do the same or you can just go ahead and start coloring and decorating and adding a face to your stegosaurus. I'm gonna get this black marker and I'm gonna carefully trace my pencil just to simply make those lines stick out a little bit more. Great, 
right, so now I have that. Maybe I'll go through, add a little bit of some colors over here with my green marker. You can use whatever material you have that you want to decorate with. So adding in over here. Maybe I'll color that in a little bit. So I have all of that colored in. These almost kind of look like diamond shapes over here. I'm gonna add an eye to my dinosaur and a smile. And then I'm gonna go ahead and finish off my Stegosaurus by painting in the rest of these colors with my watercolors over here. Carefully paint that. And there is kind of my easy step-by-step -step, uh, drawing of a stegosaurus. All right, you guys, let's play a game. We're gonna play dinosaur patterns. To play this game, all you need to do is tell me which dinosaur comes next in the pattern. Okay, let's look at our first pattern. We have a blue dinosaur, a yellow dinosaur, a blue dinosaur, a yellow dinosaur, a blue dinosaur. What comes next? Yeah, it's a yellow dinosaur. Great job, you guys. Okay, next one. We have a dark green dinosaur, a light green dinosaur, a dark green dinosaur, a light green dinosaur. Which one comes next? That's right. It's the dark green dinosaur. Great job, you guys. Okay, this next one's a little tricky. Let's see if you can get it. I think you can. We have a red dinosaur, a blue dinosaur, a blue dinosaur, a red dinosaur, a blue dinosaur. What comes next? Yeah, that's right, a blue dinosaur. Uh-oh. We have two. Is it the blue dinosaur with its mouth open? Or is it a blue dinosaur with its mouth closed? That's right. It's the blue dinosaur with its mouth closed. Great job. Okay, next up. We have a blue dinosaur, a yellow dinosaur, a blue dinosaur, a yellow dinosaur. What comes next? That's right, it's the other blue dinosaur with its mouth open. You guys are doing awesome. Okay, next up. Ooh, this one looks tricky. We have a yellow dinosaur, a red dinosaur, a green dinosaur, a yellow dinosaur, a red dinosaur. What comes next? That's right, a green dinosaur. You guys got it. Man, that was a really fun game. Thanks so much for playing with me, you guys. You did an awesome job. Let's see what we're gonna do next, come on. Wow, that was such a fun game. Okay, next up, we're gonna make a fossil. My buddy Ray is gonna give us a few facts about fossils, and then we're gonna jump into making our own fossil. So fossils are the way we know about dinosaurs. Fossils are the remains or physical evidence of plants or animals, which have been preserved for over 10,000 years. 
fossils can be found on every single continent, which means dinosaurs lived all over the world. Wow, that's pretty cool. Okay, let's see what we're gonna do next. Come on. We're gonna make our own pretend fossil. I'm gonna use some air dry clay and I have these little dinosaur figurines. Little tiny little figurines. Okay, let's get started. All right, you guys. So now we're gonna get started making our fossils. I have my dinosaur figurines over here. I have some wax paper laid down um, because I'm gonna be putting my air dry clay on here. You can also use salt dough um, or a different type of clay if you want to. I have some paints over here because I thought it might be fun to decorate our fossils a little bit. And I have a roller as well. Okay. I'm gonna start with my clay. I'm probably gonna make it a little bit smaller than this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, warm it up in my hands, roll it around. Kind of roll it around. And then I'm gonna press it down. Once it's in that ball shape with my palm, move my paints out of the way so I don't get them. Roll, roll, roll. I like to hold down my wax paper. As you can see, it can move. So I hold down my wax paper as I roll, flip over, roll, roll, roll. I don't want it to be too thin. I still want it to be pretty thick. Um, kind of like a thick pancake almost. And then I'm gonna pick my first dinosaur. I think I'm gonna choose this guy over here. You wanna decide what side you want your dinosaur to be the print to be. So whatever side you put down onto your clay is what side the print's gonna be. So you are going to carefully, actually, I think I'm gonna do this side. Carefully press, leaving that imprint over here, kind of press down. And then we're gonna carefully peel it up and there's your first dinosaur fossil. Just like that. So it's an imprint into our clay. But a real fossil would be that imprint in the ground and the dirt, huh? Okay, next, I'm gonna set that to the side. And I'm gonna make another one. I'll show you again. Kind of this size ball. I'm gonna roll, roll, roll in our hand. Once it's in a ball shape, I'm gonna carefully press it down. And then I'm gonna get my rolling pin. Roll, roll, roll. Flip over. And roll, roll, roll. And then I'm gonna choose another dinosaur. Let's see, I'll choose this guy. Again, remembering what side we wanna put our prints on. I'm gonna put my print this way get that tail also. So it's kind of hard. So I'm going to kind of bounce it back and forth to get, make sure I get the tail and the head all in there. And there. All right. So there's my prints, my fossils that I made. You see those dinosaur fossils in there? Now, I'm gonna paint these a little bit. Um, I'm first gonna maybe start with blue. I'm gonna paint the inside blue. You can paint these however you want to. Maybe you wanna paint the whole thing. Um, maybe you just wanna paint the inside. It's totally up to you. All right, so I actually decided to paint the whole thing. And as you can see, I still have my fossil in there, but I painted it blue just to make it a little bit more fun. Next, I'm gonna paint this one orange. All right, so this one, I just decided to paint inside where I left that dinosaur print. So 
So this fossil is a little different. I wanted to show you the difference between both so you could decide what you want to do for your dinosaur fossil. You can make as many as you want to. Um, I suggest once these finish drying, I like to seal them closed with glue. You can just use regular white glue, Elmer's glue. All you're gonna do is paint it with a paintbrush all over, front and back. This just helps it stay a little bit more solid. All right. I had so much fun with you guys today learning about dinosaurs. We got to draw our own dinosaur. We got to make our own pretend fossil. And my buddy Ray played some really fun games with us and taught us some really cool facts about dinosaurs. Thanks so much for watching. Can't wait to see you guys next time. If you liked this video, make sure to check out my other videos and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.